Okay, so let's get this done. Is a equals two? Does a equal two in the prop? Does a is? I'm sure there's a word missing. Does a equals two work in the problem? We'll explain our answer. So let's try. So ten. I'm gonna change. Come here. Does it work? Oh yeah, it does. Because ten times two is twenty. Equals twenty. Explain your answer so you can write. I, you multiply, I multiplied, multiplied, ten times two, and I got mesadio twenty, which is the same, que es el mismo, as the other side of the equation. El otro lado de la ecuación, the other side of the equation, right? So what do we want? Queremos que el lado derecho y izquierdo sean iguales. We want the left side and the right side to equal each other. So that one worked. Does m equals 9 or does m equal 12 work in the equation below? I don't know why I'm forgetting some word. Well, again, work, trabajo. Right? Substitute to prove your answer. So let's try m equals 9. Right? So let's try this opinion. So it's 3 and then it's going to be 9 minus 9. Because I changed, and then 2 times 9 minus 15. I will see if it's Well, 9 minus 9 is 0, so we're going to get 3 times 0. And then we're going to get 2 times 9 gets 18 minus 15. 3 times 0 is 0. 18 minus 15 is 3. Are they equal? No. So m equals 9, no function. Let's try with 12. It's going to be 3. 12 minus 9 equals 2 times 12, right? So, cambiamos el m por 12 minus 15. Let's see if this works. Aquí dentro, 12 minus 9 is 3. And then, don't forget, we're multiplying por el 3 que está fuera. 3 times 3 is 9. So, on the left side, the lado izquierdo is 9. On the right side, 2 times 12 is 24. And then subtract 15. And 24 minus 15 is 9. Oh, yay, that works. So m equals 12 is la solución. So cuando m is 12, funciona. Three. Stephanie and Rachel are trying to figure out if x equals 20 in the problem. 3x plus 4 equals 324. Who solved the problem correctly? How do you know? ¿Quién lo hizo correcto? Bueno, a ver, let's, let's check. So it's 20. Ah. Mira que Stephanie hizo. Stephanie, she put X, she changed, right? Ella cambió el X por 20. Pero she did it like this. So this was what it was, 3X, and then she put a 20. But she forgot to multiply. Ella se olvidó de multiplicar 3 por 20. Ella transformó... She changed 320, 3 times 20, y lo hizo 320. So this Stephanie, aquí está malo. Let me see if I can highlight this. Nope. All right, so aquí, here's a mistake. All right, so this Stephanie is wrong. Now Rachel, look what she did. Look how pretty that is. 3 por 20 plus 4, 3 times 20 plus 4. And then 3 times 20 is 60, right? 60 plus 4 is, 20, is, is 60 plus 4, is 64. And 64 no es igual a 324 del otro lado. So, what can we say here? Uh, Rachel substituted, subs, no, substituyó, substitute, substituted, substitute. Correctamente. Correctly. And descubrió, found out. Uh, I don't want to say that. Subject correctly and and I guess we can write that. And found out that twenty x equals twenty is not, not 
a solution, no es una solución. Ok, no es. Why? Because aquí salió, if she got 64 equals, no es igual as 324. Ok, and Stephanie, si vamos, Stephanie did not, no, multiplicó, multiply, did not multiply, 3 and 20. Right? Ella no, no multiplicó aquí. Ok, so she made a mistake. It is on her bedroom. Number four, list two possible answers for each, two possible values for each equation. Show your work to justify your answer. So, look at the first one. You have to understand 8.5y and y times 8.5. So, let me write this over here 8.5y, 8.5 times y, right? Remember the community property. Si cambiamos, estamos, they're multiplying, right? We're multiplying 8.5 times y. So if we switch, so let me use this. 3 times 2 is 6, yeah? If I switch, I get 2 times 3. Aren't they the same? Igualitos. La orden es diferente. The order is different, but they still have the same answer. So 8.5 times y is the same thing as y times 8.5. Es la misma cosa. So... If they're the same, I hope that you remember, if they're the same, si son igualitos, there are infinite solutions. Many, 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 many infinito, soluciones infinitas. So, let's try y equals 1. When y equals 1, we get 8.5, which big multiplied by 1. And on the other side, we get 1 times 8.5. What's 8.5 times 1? 8.5. And what's 1 times 8.5? 8.5. So that works. Let's try another one. Y equals, I don't know, let's make it 2. Let's keep it simple. So we're going to change. We're going to get 8.5 multiplicado por 2 times 2. And on the other side, we're going to get 2 times 8.5. It's the same thing. So 8.5 times 2 is 17. And 2 times 8.5 is 17. So we can try y equals 3, y equals 4, y equals 5. So many, 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 many solutions. Okay? So look at the next one. So again, let's tr let me give you an example. 3 plus 5. Is that the same thing as 5 plus 3? Yes, it is. So look at the, what we have here. We have 3 plus 2y. So if I switch, si lo cambio, I get 2y plus 3. Are they the same? Yes, they are. So again, otra vez, when the left side, este, is igualito, on the right side, they're both the same. We have many, many answers. Any, and any number that you put is going to work. So let's try 10. I'm going to show you. Let's try 10. So we get 3 plus 2 times 10 equals 2 times 10 plus 3. 3 plus 2 times 10 is 20. And 3 plus 20 is 23. On the other side, no, 2 times 10 is 20 plus 3. And what do we get? 23. So 10 is okay. Let's try another number. I don't know. Let's try 11. 3 plus 2 times 11 equals 2 times 11 plus 3. It's la misma cosa, right? We're multiplying 2 times 11 and sumando 3 and plus 3. So 3 plus 22, here we have 2 times 11, which is 22 plus 3. And you stay this vein, you can see that 3 plus 22 is 25. And on this side, we get 25. So 10 works, 11 works, 12, 13, 14, 15, any number in the world works here. Why? Porque este lado y este lado son igualitos. Ah, now... On the right side, they're trying to be a little bit tricky. So, in vez de esto, let me change. So, remember when we did the food, hacimos la comida? Let's multiply this. Okay. So, 3 times y is 3y. Plus, and 3 times y in the back is 3y. So, the left side is 3y plus 3y. The right side is 3y plus 3y. Meeting, son igualitos. They are exactly, exactly the same. We can even do one more thing. Podemos hacer una cosa más. 
they're the same, right? 3y, y, and y. So we can write 6y. So one was a cero más corto. Let's make it shorter. And then 3y, 6y. So let's play with this. And let's say y equals, I don't know, 51. Let's try 51. So it'd be 6 times 51. And on the other side, be 6 times 51. Do you think they're going to be the same? ¿Crees que va a ser igual? Of course it's going to be. So it's going to be 306. And here, 306. Right? They're the same. It doesn't matter what number we pick. Uh, let's try 78. So we're going to get 6 times 78 equals 6 times 78. Do you think it's going to be the same answer? Of course it's going to be the same answer. So 6 times 8 is 48. 42 plus 4 is 46. So it's, we get 468. And 6 times 78 is 468. So we can have many, many, many answers for those because... Okay. Let's continue. Okay. So next thing, like we did in class, we're going to solve for, we'll see if x is going to, we're going to see which one, which one of the equations x equals 5 works. So let's substitute. So we get 3 times 5 plus 2 equals 10. So I'm going to replace. Here we get 10 minus 5 equals 5, right? Because we're going to change el x por 5. So here we got 4 times 5 minus 5 equals 5, and then inside the parentheses, 5 minus 3. Last, I get 2, and then 5 plus 1, and then equals 3 times 5 minus 3. All right, so cambié todos los x. I change all the x with 3. All right, so let's do the first one. So order of operations, we multiply primero. 3 times 5, 15. Plus 2 equals 10. Do you think it's going to equal 10? No. 17 equals 10. So here, no. No funciona. 10 minus 5, 10 minus 5 is 5. Is that equal 5 on the other side? So here, yes. Aquí, el 5 funciona. Next one, 4 times 5 is 20, minus 5, and on this side we get 5, and inside the parentheses, what is 5 minus 3? 5 minus 3 is 2. 20 minus 5 is 15, and 5 times 2 is 10. Are they the same? No. So that one is a no. Last one, well, let's do the parentheses primero. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then on this side, we do 3 times 5, gives 15, and then minus 3. Well, 2 times 6, don't forget, multiplication, is 12. And 15 minus 3, también es 12. So, this one is a yes. Explain your answer to the first problem. So, fourth problem, aquí, ustedes pueden explicar cómo lo hicieron. Okay, I substituted, and then I subtracted and multiplied. Okay, so I'll leave the explanation to you. So it's going to be uh, Okay, so next one is the same thing. B. We're going to change B, but B equals 10. So let's switch. So we get 5 times 10 plus 10 times 10 equals 1.5. And then 10, and 10B, right, times 10 again. Let's see if it works. So order of operations. Here we have 5 times 10 is 50. Plus, what's 10 times 10? 100. Let's complete this. What's 50 plus 100? 150. So the left side, the left izquierdo, me salió 150. Let's look at the right side. So we got 1.5, 1.5. And inside the parentheses, we have 10 times 10. What's 10 times 10? 100. Now we have to multiply 1.5 times 100. 1.5 times 100 is 150. So B equals 10. Funcionó? Yes.
Oh, okay. So uh, let's do number seven. Okay, Max Gardening mows his parents' lawn on the weekend, and lawn mower costs two fifty. Gardening supplies is twenty dollars for each weekend that he works. His parents gave him four fifty to buy the supplies that he needs. The equation here's the equation: twenty W plus twenty fifty equals four fifty. Okay, that represents the number of weeks that Max can do his parents' gardening with the money he was given. How many weeks weeks will Max be able to do the gardening with the four hundred fifty savings? Okay, so we have an equation. Tenemos una ecuación. Let's put here 20w plus 250 equals 450. So w, we're going to see if 10 works. w is 15, w is 20, and w is 22. So, donde está el w? Right? So, let's do, uh, should erase all this. So, uh, so, let's do, let's try this one first. 10. 20 times 10 plus 250 equals 450. 20 por 10? 200. 200 plus 250 is 450? I don't know. What's 200 plus 250? It's 450. Which equals 450. So 10, I'm going to put a check mark. So 10, yeah, that worked. So now I want you to try 15. I want you to put 15 over here. All right, so I'm going to try 15. So 20 times 15 is 300. Plus 250. Do you think I'm going to get 450? Será que me sale 450? No. It comes out to 550 equals 450. So, no. This one is a no. Well, again, we're going to try another one. Put 20 over here. 20 times 20 is 400. Plus 250 equals 450. Será? No. 400 plus 250 is 650. So, otra vez, este. It's a no. And then we have 22. 22 is 440, I think. Plus 250 equals 450. So we get 690 equals 450. Otra vez. That's a no. So the only one that works is 10. So 10 weeks is the maximum that he can work. Okay. Okay. So Jesse loves ice cream or frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt is 350 por vaso. Plus 25 cents per topping, más 25 centavos por cosas que tú pones arriba. She has 5.25 to spend, tiene 5 dólares 25 para gastar. The equation, here's an equation, represents a number, uh, rep and the equation represents cuántos toppings, cuántas cosas ellas, toppings, no? Well, cuántos de estos, how many toppings of 25 cents she can put on her yogurt. Quantos toppings diferentes puede poner en el yogurt de arriba, arriba del yogurt. So, that's the equation. So, let me write the equation. So, 350 más 0 0.25 T, uh, sorry, let me write over here. 350 plus 0 0.25 T, the toppings, equals 5.25. Toppings is eh, cacahuates, ch chocolate sprinkles, or fresas, no? Toppings are las cosas extra, the, the extra stuff that we put on top of the yogurt. Okay, so, pero cada uno, but each one is 25 cents. So how many toppings, si, she has $5.25, si ella tiene $5.25, ¿cuántos toppings puede poner ella? So, let's see. If three toppings is okay, so 350 plus 0 0.25, but then it three toppings, so multiply by three, equals 525. A ver si te alcanza, no? So 350, 25 cents times three is 0.75, equals 
350, 350, that's gonna be 425, he goes 525. So, the question though, should have said, la pregunta mejor sería, ¿cuál es el número máximo de toppings que ella puede coger? Right? Because right now, 425 is, is not, no es igual a 525, so three toppings, ella tiene, she has enough money for three toppings. Uh, I hate this question. They, should, they wrote the question incorrectly. So, three toppings is okay. It's not the solution. It's okay. It's, she can buy three toppings. Ella puede, tiene dinero suficiente para tres toppings. So, the better question would be how many Toppings can she buy? What is the max? ¿Cuál es el número más grande de toppings? What is the greatest number of toppings? What is the greatest number of toppings? No? So, three, three toppings la alcanza porque te sale, it's because she has $5.25 y tres toppings te sale 4.25, so she has enough money, tiene suficiente dinero para tres, no es la, it's not the answer to the equation, pero, ok, no es igual, pero qué significa eso, it means, en este caso, uh, that she can have three toppings y todavía sobra dinero, ok, let's try four toppings, she gets four toppings, it's 350, 25 cents times 4 is $1 equals 525. So 350 plus $1 is 450. So can she have, puede coger ella four toppings? Yes. ¿Le va a sobrar dinero? Yes. Okay. Let's move on. Five toppings. How about five toppings? Oh my god, I don't know how many toppings you want, but let's try five toppings. So 350. Plus uh, 125 equals 525. So this is going to give us 4.75. So again, ella tiene, she has $5.25. 475 is not equal, no es igual, pero le alcanza cinco toppings with the money. Can she get five toppings? Yeah, she can. This question is kind of weird. And then lastly, can she get six toppings? Puede coger ella six toppings. So we got 350 plus uh, 0 0.25 times six, which is 150 and 525. So 350 plus 150 is cuanto? It's five dollars, which no es igual a 525. So can la alcanza? Can she get six toppings? Yes. Okay. But I'm going to do one more. Instead of six, I know they didn't ask you, but let's try seven. Let me see, I have seven toppings. Oh my God, seven toppings! I don't even know what toppings, what toppings can you put. So let's try seven. Three fifty for the yogurt plus seven toppings is one seventy-five. Now, 350 plus 175 is 5.25. So, ¿le alcanza dinero? Yes. So, seven toppings sería el máximo. Right? So, we can... Seven toppings sería el ma the maximum number of toppings she can get on the ice cream. Can she get three? Yes. ¿Sobra dinero? Yes. Can she get four toppings? Yes. Will she have left leftover money? Yes. Five toppings? Yes. Leftover money, sobre dinero, sí. Six toppings, yes, she can do it. Sobre dinero, yes. Seven toppings, yes, she can do it. She get any money left over, sobre dinero, no. Gasta todo, she uses everything, eggs, exactly. Okay. Right.